Washington State, 34, Stanford, 31. Washington State came back and won this damn ball game. That is three straight for Nick Rolovich and that bunch. And so we'll talk about the game. Jaden Delora and, and let's see, Max Borgie. Excuse me. Uh, I didn't write his name down. Those two are super exciting, and you can win a ton of football games with guys like that when you have a masterful game plan like they had, right? I did not watch the majority of this game. My reaction to it is Washington State can be a really good football team with Nick Rolovich, much like they were with Mike Leach. And now there's all the chaos that might be happening on Monday because Monday is the deadline to figure out his religious exemption and whatever for for him getting the jab. And, at, we, you know, not to be political or whatever, but do you really think that there is any way that they will fire this guy at, on, in the middle of a three-game winning streak here? No. I don't think so either. No. Like I, I know that this has I, nothing to do with football. I know, what but, the, I know what the state of Washington is like. I'm going to bet the area of... Pullman. Pullman. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet that area ain't like Seattle. I agreed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bet the boosters and the people that run things at Washington State. Now I could be very wrong. I'm gonna bet they're very different. It's it's a different world in Pullman, Washington. I will. I will tell you that. Very very interesting stuff. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.